Welcome, friends, Romans and countrymen, to the 27th Colonel Marvel's Miniatures Review vidcast. And what a great show, full of wonderful new pictures of fantasy and sci-fi 28-32mm miniatures I have for you, spooled only by my inane, asinine and sometimes frankly dull commentary. Ah well, you can't have it all. Enough of my waffle, on with the show. I'm very pleased to say the show continues to be sponsored by Rattlehead Games, fine purveyors of many of the independent sci-fi and fantasy figures featured in the show. Mindstalkers kick us off this week at number 10. They have some new Shadow Templar order knights out. First up is a standard bearer, Jacques de Montmartre. And here we have a close-up of Renaud de Chartres. The problem with these figures, of course, is the scale. At 40mm, they don't fit in with most people's 28-32mm to collections. And that's a real shame, as, as you can see from this Christian Espinosa figure, they are really high-quality sculpts. At number 9 we find Dark Age Games. Here's a couple of fairly forgettable Forsaken Flens who will cost you $9.99 US dollars the pair. Much more interesting to my mind is this Brood Skion, which has a weird tentacles for hair thing going on and is a rather fine model, although it should cost you $13.99 US dollars. Other world miniatures are in at number 8 this week. This is a work in progress photo of a fire giant miniature that Paul Muller is sculpting for Otherworld. He's certainly going to be a hefty piece of metal once he's done. Spinespur from Comfy Chair Games are at number 7. These preview minis are a bit too static for my taste, and the sculpting is a little, well, what shall we say, unrefined, but the ideas behind them are really interesting. This pigskin man is a good case in point. And this three-headed Cerebeast is pretty good. And this Gene Simmons axe man looky-likey is just tons of fun. And next up we have Urban Mammoth Metropolis. This is a Vassa Executioner Claw, or giant warbot to you and me, that will sell for 25 UK pounds. I do kind of like this one, but the whole pose of the sword does seem slightly odd given it's supposed to be a high-tech robot. Next up is our French chums Rackham. Wow, a Rackham figure that doesn't make it to number one in the Marbles hit list. But there's still not much wrong with it. Again, I don't have much info on this one, but it's a very elegant Daikany warrior. So we're up to number 4 now, and at 4, it's someone who could be called Portico de Yugos. This is a very nicely sculpted alchemist dwarf. Unfortunately, I don't know very much more than that, I'm afraid, other than it's designed for the Spanish Portico de Yugos fantasy universe. And if anyone knows any more than that, I'll be delighted to uh, find out about it. Hassle-free miniatures are at number 3 this week. This naughty schoolgirl who's wielding a mean-looking katana is called Susie, and she can be yours for a mere 3 UK pounds. Then we have Bob, who's sculpted by Michael Brand. He's definitely got that unhinged psycho look about him, and he sells for only two UK pounds. But my favourite of this batch of releases has to be the really excellent Shimmer, a female elf leaping over a tree stump. She could well be a new recruit to my wood elf army. And at number two we find our old chum, Bob Ollie. This is a classic miniature sculpted by Aaron Brown and is called, not unexpectedly, The Judge. The twist is that Bob Ollie has bought the rights to reproduce this mini. Now he's not only going to produce it as it is, but he's going to produce an all-new scrunt leg walker conversion using the legs and the Gatling gun. As Bob says, more power of the scrunts. Sponsored in part by Blue Table Painting, your first choice for an excellent miniatures painting service. But at number one this week, I've got some absolutely sensational figures to show you from El Dorado. OK, figure fans, hold on to your seats now, because all these are forthcoming minis from Wave 2 of the new French game. And how about this for originality? It's an eagle ripping the head off a chain zombie dude. Next up is a fearsome looking devil dog type thing. I like it. Then there's this tremendous figure of someone who I think is called Folquez the Black. He's got a nasty pair of bolt cutters for a weapon and he looks evil indeed. Sensational. And last but certainly not least is this truly awesome pumped up demon dude. Yes, Helderado are going to absolutely explode on the miniatures world very soon with these incredible releases. And sadly, my dearest chums, that brings us to the end of another week's show. Still, you can bet your bottom dollar I'll be back here next week. Same time, same place. So don't touch that dial.